good morning everyone i hope you are doing extremely good so today let's solve this problem longest non decreasing sub array from two arrays so let's understand the problem statement so here you are given two zero indexed integer arrays num1 and num2 of length n so we need to and another zero indexed integer array num3 of length n for each index i in the range you can assign either num1 or num2 suppose you have 1 2 3 as nums 1 and 4 5 6 as nums 2 in nums 3 you can assign either 1 or 4 or 2 or 5 or 3 or 6 and our task is to maximize the length of the longest non decreasing sub array what is non decreasing sub array which should be increasing either 1 1 2 3 this or 1 2 3 4 non decreasing such that it is an increasing sub array We need to maximize it, and we need to return an integer representing the length of the longest non-decreasing subarray, and we need to return the length, like how much the maximum length we can construct of uh, of sub of array num three such that the length should be maximum. And first, we need to understand what is subarray and the subsequence. Subarray is something which is continuous, a one, a two, or a two, a three, a four. Subsequence is such that Which is which is discontinuous, but it occurs in order a one, a three, a four, or a three, a five. This is a subsequence. In this question, he is asking about sub array, not the sub sequence. And here you can see that the constants are ten power five. And if it is ten power five, mostly it can't be a DP. Uh, if we solve using DP, either we need to choose the first index or this index, like nums one index. Or nums two index i and we need to keep j. We need to increment this or we need to increment this based on the condition. If we do this, how much it will take? Ten power five into ten power five. It will cross our limit. So DP is not possible. So let's understand uh, this example one three two one two two three four. With using this, we can construct uh, from this he is taking one and from the second he is taking two. From this he is taking three, from this he is taking four, and is saying that I am getting the array array of four. Ah, uh, so if you say this carefully, ah, uh, after seeing this question, we will get different thoughts. Ah, uh, whether I can take the maximum or whether I can take the minimum. And if you see this first element should be minimum, right? First element should be the minimum. Then only we can construct the next subarray such that it will be the maximum. So. Let's understand with this example. Suppose if you are taking the max, max of this two is two, and three, and it is three, and it is four. With this, we can construct the array of size four. Hmm? And suppose if you are taking this two, three, one, and one, two, one, we can construct the size of array two. And this is only our answer. This is four, and this is two. And but but if you take max and means if you take max and means it will fail. Suppose if you take this, ah uh, here the minimum is one max minimum is four five. This is three. The maximum subarray size is three. If you take the max two seven eight six seven here the maximum subarray size would be three. But if you see it carefully, ah uh, two seven, ah uh, two seven eight, two seven. Seven eight and ah uh, no not like that. Now we will take two and we will go to four. Then I will go to five. Then I will go to six. Then I will go to seven. If you go like this, we are getting the size of five. So this is contradictory, right? It will fail. And if you see this case, ah, uh, if you observe it, suppose if you have two elements, ah uh, A and B and C and D. And subarray is such such that it completely dependent on the previous element. It doesn't care about this element, right? It doesn't care about this element. Subarray is different from subsequence. Subsequence cares about this. If you not consider this, if subarray, if we consider this, unless and until we consider this, it is does not dependent on this. That is what subarray. So it is dependent on the previous element. So. Let's try this with this example. Suppose we have I'm taking DP one and DP two. 
in this i am storing either here it can be one here here storing one one and one now we have seven hmm? we have seven and seven is greater than this one and the seven is greater than this two so the maximum size can be two right the maximum size can be two one seven or two seven now if you are at four now uh, if you take one it will be two and if you take two it will be two so the maximum size would be two and if you are taking this it's completely dependent on the previous element this element and the this element if it is eight eight seven yeah, yeah. Uh, here the maximum is two three two and here five if it is dependent on this and this here also we will get three three and if you are coming to six and it is does not depend on eight right so what would be my maximum it will be one and six is greater than five so it is dependent on this here the answer is three and we need to increment three plus one four so here we will get four as our max so if you add a three it is dependent on eight no i will say three is very less than eight so it is zero and three is less than five as well so the maximum answer can be one because only we can take this right only this sub is possible and if you are at two this is failing and this is failing if you take seven it is greater than six here the maximum is four and i can get five right i can get five seven it is also greater than three here the maximum value is one so i will get here answer as two so if you take this the answer would be five the maximum answer would be five I think you understood it and I will go through the code. So if you take dp of 1 and a dp of 2 and in b1 we are checking b1 of i is greater than of b1 of i minus 1. If, if, this, if this is greater than this, if this element is greater than this, we are incrementing that maximum dp of i and 1 plus dp of i minus 1, this one. And in the same way, we are considering the previous element as well. If you are taking this, I am checking with this as well. And if it is true, then I am maximizing it. In the same way, for the B2, for this element, I am checking with this and I am checking with this. And if it is maximizing, I am incrementing it and we are calculating the maximum. Maximum, how we will get max of answer dp of i and dp of i minus 2 here. The maximum is 4 and 1. What is the maximum? 4. That's why we will consider 4. In this way, we will calculate the answer and we are returning the answer. What would be the time complexity? The time complexity would be order of n and the space order of 2n. I think you understood this solution. Thank you for watching.